it wasn't that long ago that the perception of the ocean was that it was really this source of endless bounty. And the reason was because it was big. Um, our technology to actually uh, fish in most of the ocean was limited. And as a consequence, even as little as 100 years ago, there were major scientific organizations from prominent developed countries who concluded that you did not need to manage fisheries because there was really no way that humans could have any impact on fish in the sea. So to get that notion out of the way very quickly, um, a real simple way to see that in fact people can have a very big impact on the ocean is just to look at in 1965, so when I was 10 years old, this, all of these areas in red were the parts of the ocean where we were fishing the total, the total catch was at or above the capacity that you would be able to catch at a maximum sustainable level. So that's how much of the ocean we were at in 1965. 30 years later, when my daughter was 10 years old, this is what the picture looked like. So we went from a situation where there were a few small areas around very intensely fished uh, countries to basically the entire ocean being fished at or above capacity. 